Welcome to How to Feel Loved in a Relationship. You know, feeling love is important as the sun, right? It's, it's super easy when things are really great. It's easy to feel love in our relationship. It's easy to know our partner or our family members love us. But when we're feeling sad, when we're feeling depressed, when the skies are gray and it's drizzly, it's a little bit harder. So stay tuned and learn how to find better love in your relationship. You can't feel too much. So maybe right now you're noticing that you're not feeling very loved in your relationship. And that's why you're watching this video. So I ask, I'm going to ask you right now, just tune in and sense and feel where is that in your body? Is it feeling like a heaviness in your heart or a dissatisfaction in your gut? Is your brain spinning and spinning and spinning? And notice that. If you're feeling kind of those like sad, depressive feelings, often that's because we're looking at the past. And if you're feeling anxious or upset or worrying, often that's because you're focused in the future. So take a moment and just be here now. And one way that you can feel love in your relationship is to first start by feeling your self-love. And I know it's like, okay, Don, that sounds super easy. Just have self-love. I know it's not always that easy. But think about it this way. Most relationships never are fully stable. And that's one of the things that creates challenges, right? Is that we want our relationship to feel stable and solid all the time. But there are little things that we probably annoy our partner about or that they annoy us about. Or there's going to be conflict or challenge or negotiation or curiosity. Even though things can get a little better and a little worse, quote unquote, right? It's pretty rare that things are 100% all the time stable. And I'm not saying that means it's a bad relationship. I mean, even in good relationships where it feels really solid and stable, there's always a little bit of negotiation. There's always a little bit of something going on. So start with self-love. How do you love yourself right now? How do you feel that sun when there is no sun to be felt, it seems like? So take a moment right now. Put your hands over your heart and just breathe and be here right now. Feel your heart and allow yourself to feel self-love. And if that's hard, feel gratitude. What are you grateful for right now? Maybe you're grateful that you even have a relationship. Maybe you're grateful that you don't have a relationship. Maybe you're grateful that you're being challenged right now because it gives you an opportunity to explore deeper within yourself or others and see what's going on. Be grateful for the birds singing, for the fact that the sun's behind the clouds. Be grateful that you have food, that you have clothes. I mean, even my birds at the bird feeder, I'll throw a little clip in here. Even my birds at the bird feeder, the bear came and they knocked down the bird feeder the other day and I just kind of propped it up. I need to get a new bird feeder. But even the birds are eating out of this bird feeder that's not the most beautiful. <laughs> Something might fall on their head, but they're still there, grateful for the food. So can you be grateful? And do a gratitude walk. If you don't want to just stand here with your hands over your heart, walk around and with every step, feel a little bit of gratitude. What are all the amazing things in your life? And next, let go of your ego. In other words, let go of how you think your relationship should look like, what it should feel like, what it should be like, how your partner should act, what you should be doing for your partner, what they should be doing for you, how you should be going out, how often you should be talking, what you should be talking about, what things should look, right? All of that is our ego trying to structure something around our relationship. But if you just notice and sense, what is actually good about your relationship? Because... The sun is always shining. And even when it's cloudy, right? I mean, granted, I'm kind of a white Scandinavian woman, but for me, when it's cloudy, I can still get sunburned. I don't feel the heat. It's not as intense, but the sun is still there. And the same is happening with your relationship. Like, yes, when I'm out in the desert, I'm gonna get sunburned very fast. I better put on some 50, some 30, some 70, some something, depending upon how hot it is. 
And it can be like that when you're feeling loved and your partner's doing everything for you and things are going great. It can be really easy to feel that love in your relationship. But I ask you to look when it feels cloudy, when it feels like there's no love. This might actually be the time that we get scared and we want to run away. But perhaps instead, this is the time to recommit. To move through the challenge. To move through the pain and the discomfort and see what's on the other side. And feel the love within yourself. Trust you. Trust your heart. Know that it's there. Because just like the sun, love is all around. Right? Love is all around, even when you don't feel it. I mean, I love you. You don't even probably know me. But I love people so deeply. Right? And I love everything around. This is why I do these videos. And that's out there. So feel that. The sun is always giving. I ask you, just be here now. How do you feel more loved in a relationship? First of all, love yourself. Second of all, just like the sun, give as much love as you can to your partner in a way they can hear and feel it. And just know you're giving without any expectation, right? Part of love, just like unconditional love with a mom to a child often. Remember, love is always there. And give love. When you start feeling gratitude, when you start giving love to others without expecting anything back, and I'm not just talking about your relationship or your parents or your sister or your brother or your friends. I'm talking about really like honoring people on the street. The more you send love out, the more you send gratitude out, the more it gets reflected to you when you do it without expectation. So that's my challenge for you this week. How do you feel more loved in your relationship? Be love. Feel love for yourself. Send love out. Have gratitude, let go of your ego, and be here now. If any of this has been helpful, please subscribe and watch my other videos. I'm going to do a whole series also on when to stay or end your relationship to help you find more clarity. But for now, be loved. It's probably turning me red too. After my hike today, hard to say. But hey, it's melting my chocolate, so I better eat it so it doesn't melt. Very serious problem.